So before this video starts, I just want to give a quick shout out to Jay Randall, Anthony Luck, Leon Porter, Adam Lowe, Anthony Jarvis, Kyle Guildford, Simon Cornwall, Thomas Madison, the English Gamerman, Demetrius Lucasiavis, Flynn Scotsman, Philip Green, Ali Semple, John Barnum, James Hutchins, Emil Imming, Philip O'Donnell, Paul Roberts, Martin Bennett, John Barnes, Tony Sykes, Lee Duffy, Triple H, Stacey Liu, Alex Sawyer, Reese Lane, Jack Forrest, George Brown, Trucker DLWPRONL, James Roberts, Adrian Money, Luke Sanders, Stephen Mitchell, George Jordan Harris, Craig Byers, Jamie Lalliet, Jay Buckle, Andrea and Josh Paget, and James Beeson. Thank you so much for being a champ supporter, it really does mean everything to me and if you want to become one yourself, click the link down below. Enjoy the video. Lorry cordoned off as foreign driver self-isolates over coronavirus fears. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. We are just leaving the yard. Um, just gotta go careful around this corner because cars go straight down without slowing down. Yeah, so we are at work. It's Thursday today. Is it Thursday today? No, it's Wednesday today. It is Wednesday, isn't it? It's Wednesday today. I'm losing track of the days. It's Wednesday today, Wednesday morning, 7.30. Uh, just gone and uh, we are on our way to a lake called Lake 81. We've got to take some mud away from there and uh, tip it off in a quarry um, called Hatford. Hatford Quarry, that's where we're taking it. So let's just come out of here. Yeah, got me an uh, email last night and it said uh, normally we get into work between 6 a.m. and sort of like 6 15, 6 30 latest normally. Um, but the email said uh, that there's four of us. Well, actually, I think there's like nine of us on this job today. But four of us, it said, um, do not leave yard until 7.30. And I think that's because they don't want too many drivers turning up at the same time. Um, so then we're not just sat around waiting. So, yeah, we had a little bit of a later start today, which inevitably means we're probably going to have a little bit of a later finish. But that's not the end of the world because the latest I've ever finished on this job is like five o'clock, so. <laughs> and I normally finish it after eight, four, most days. So I'm, I'm fine with working until five. I'm fine to work until six if need be, mate. Like, don't bother me. I'm used to doing 13, 15 hour shifts on the class one, so. But it is nice to be home more often, 100%. Um, the kids are starting to uh, enjoy me being home every night. Um, like, they used to, all the time, they used to be like, Daddy, are you home tonight? Are you home tomorrow? And I would have to say, I don't know. I don't know if I'm home. If I am, then I am. But I'll call you. Uh, and, um, yeah, so that's what I used to have to say a lot of the time. Whereas now it's, yeah, I'll be home later. I'll see you later. Do you know what I mean? So, much, much better. So, I don't know how many runs we've got planned today. It doesn't actually say. Normally uh, there's a number uh, next to your name telling you how many you've got to do. I'm pretty sure we've done five or six in the past because I've done this job before. But we're also starting later, so maybe four or five. I suspect five. I've, I'm, I'm, ha I'm aiming for five anyway. I've done, I've done five paper, five pieces of paperwork out, filled them out, ready to go. So um, we'll aim for the five, but we'll just have to see, really, won't we? So yeah, oh, there's a dog there off the leash. So yeah, going to be hopefully a good day today. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to rain. It's been really hot recently as well, so nice weather. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's crack on, I suppose. Let's crack on. Oh, this morning I done my daily checks and um, it was all okay. Just one bulb need doing, so well, I got out and changed the bulb. Um, apart from that, nothing else really to report on the daily checks. So. All good. Anyway, let's crack on. Let's go uh, and get to this Lake 81. And uh, there's a driver in front of us now, look. So we, we'll have to wait for him at least to get loaded. Um, but I don't think it takes too long. It takes like five minutes, if that. So happy days. Right. Enough of me rambling on. I'll see you in a bit. I should open up a window. I can't see clear. I know how to window. 
just my habit I can't describe it Okay, so we are now at Lake 81. I don't know if you can quite see, but on the left-hand side of those trees there, there is a lake. Presumably it's called Lake 81. We're currently getting loaded by an, excav uh, an excavator, 360, um, and we are taking gravel away. Um, you can just see it on the bottom left-hand corner. That's the gravel we're taking. It's a bit sandy with stones in. This might be the last bucket. Maybe one more after this, actually. Yeah, one more bucket. I'm in the daft, by the way, today as well, so um, it's a little bit louder when I kick the PTO on, look. So that noise just continuously rings when the PTO is engaged, just to let you know. And when he puts this bucket on, it's going to beep to say that I've reached my weight. There we go. So we put that bucket down. Um, right, there's a predetermined location to put the um, paperwork, so I'm just going to go put the paperwork there a sec. Ugh. Right. We are good to go. We're just gonna get out of his way before we put the sheet on. So he's got room to do his stuff. There we go. Ugh. And you must stop. You must stop to put the sheet on, I've been told. I got told off for moving with the sheet. I was uh, going on to a Weybridge slowly and uh, started undoing the sheet and uh, apparently that's not allowed so I didn't know that, now I do, so uh, must stop before uh, putting your sheet on or taking your sheet off. Excellent, right so now we are heading towards Hatford, Hatford is um, via the A420 to get to Oxford, but obviously before Oxford. It's uh, just past Farringdon. Um, so that is where we're going. I believe there's about eight of us doing this, maybe nine, and uh, I think I'm the last one. I think I'm at the back, back of the pile. That's fine by me. Um, I really don't care which position I'm in. <laughs> Hang on, that sounds wrong. <laughs> I don't care whether I'm first, second, last, I, don't, I really don't care. I, uh, I do the job, I don't care how long it takes. There's lakes there as well. I think there's a lake over here on the left. Yeah, um, this area um, is part of the Cotswold Water Park, which is actually where I live. I live in this area, the Cotswold Water Park. So, a little bit of inside knowledge there. I actually live around here. It's all right, not too bad. There's, um, there is a beach just around the corner. Um, I'm messaging Kev T this morning and he's, uh, he's at a beach doing his daily exercise and it makes me want to go to the beach. <laughs> I don't think I'll get there in time. You've, um, I think you can only do an hour's exercise, can't you? <sighs> you're did. Yeah, I think you can only do an hour's exercise and by the time I get there, I'll probably have to go straight back again. You've got a Cotswold uh, County Park and Beach to the left, as that sign says. Clear, 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 let's go. Right, so, yeah, that's just loaded. I don't think I can get any footage in the quarry. Um, I, I might try, but I can't get any equipment. Um, that's, that's all they said, don't film any equipment, so we'll see, we'll see. I might just put this camera on the face of me so you can see me too. Anyway. Let's get crack a lack in and see in a bit.
So we're here now, we're just reversing back up to the pile to tip on. That'll do. PTO, tailboard, lift the body up. So you might be able to see out oh, that window there. He's done. Pushing us forward already. There we go, PTO off into drive, handbrake off. And I just want to see if the tailboard is clean. Yeah, it sounds clean. Yeah, that's clean. When there's a bit of a bang like that, it um, lets you know that the tailboard is flush, or going to be flush. So uh, I will put it all the way down, close the, uh, the hooks, and then we should be fine, but I will double check when we get to our next place to get reloaded again. But yeah, that's one tip done. Um, four more to go, maybe? Maybe five? <laughs> And then also maybe have to be reloaded as well. So sometimes what happens is we tip here and then get reloaded with a different material ready for the next day. So yeah, could be that, could be that. Anyway, I'm not going to film too much in here because um, uh, like I said, they like said uh, just don't film any equipment. So I don't want to film any equipment. You should be able to see just me and uh, some sand. <laughs> right, let's get back on the road and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're just arriving at the location to get loaded with our second load, I'm waiting for the honk. There we go. That means we stop and we get loaded here. Just got to put the uh, body up a little bit. There we go. I've been asked a few times on um, posts that I put up about lifting the body up. People have been asking why do I do that, and I, I have said in videos, but I'll just say it again, um, 9.25. It's because um, I've got a, uh, uh, I've got a scales um, right in front of me, and uh, it would tell me how much is actually on board. So right now I've got five ton on board. Put another bucket on. Now I've got seven and a half ton, so it's two and a half ton a bucket. So yeah, that's why we do that. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be one of those days today where it's just travelling A to B, getting the job done. Um, yeah, takes a bit of driving time out of this job doing this run because it's a it's over an hour turnaround. So um, an hour and twenty five minutes ago we were here. So to go again, it'd be an hour and twenty five later, and again. That's what I'm saying. It might be a struggle to get six done. Definitely, we we'll try and do five. But. Uh, yeah, just see how it goes. Okay, so we're at 15 tonne now. 15 tonne. Just put my lunchbox away. I had, a, I had some lunch because I was a bit peckish. There we go, we're done. Are we done? Because it stopped beeping. No, we could do with another bucket. Now we're done. Right, just got to uh, give him the paperwork. Right, paperwork done. Let's get out of the way for this guy. Ugh. All yours, mate. There we go. 
So we're out of the way for him. Let's put the sheet back on. It's not the quickest sheet to put on. Back in the tarmac days, I'd press the button and go, zzzz, done. And it, because it would do it that way rather than that way, if that makes sense. Right, that's on. Seat back on, let's go. Be back here again, probably for about 11 o'clock. It's half nine now. Yeah, so we'll, we'll probably do the third one. Get that tipped off. And then try and get back for the fourth and get loaded. Jesus, you want to slow down, mate, because that is a blind corner. You just come flying around that corner. We've got to be careful coming out of here because they do they do fly around here and I know they do because uh, I do. <laughs> well, I probably shouldn't. Anyway. Ah, let's get cracker lacking. I, I, I was going to say, like, I do enjoy this job. It's, it's so easy. The money is good, and the job is so easy. But it is a little bit boring, and I do miss the class one work. I miss the the, the variety of doing different stuff. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, I mean, this is a good job. It's a decent job, and anyone just starting out doing class two work. I always recommend tipping work because it is just so easy like just to get you into the mood like you just you learn the roads you learn the techniques and yeah spot on and I am enjoying the job I am but um, I'm also a little bit bored I don't know if that's the right word because like today for example well every day we go to a job and then that's all you do all day like you just backwards and forwards same roads so <coughs> I don't know. Like when I was doing the bagging work for Day Aggregates, which is just around the corner, just just up the road here. Yeah, you'd always come back to get loaded from the same place, but at least you'd go to different places during the day. So that was ideal. Uh, the dock work that I was doing, doing the docks, you go to a different place every day, pretty much. Um, and then, yeah, just basically, in my last job working at JK Transport, I was. As much as I didn't like the hours, I liked the variety. So, yeah, and I do miss class one work as well because it's just I prefer driving the bigger vehicles. It's more of a challenge. This is this is an easy job. It's not challenging at all. the The only thing with regards to doing tipping work is that you got to try and make sure that you're level. I have been off level a few times, so um, it's a bit dangerous when tipping. So you just got to try and find the sweet spot. There are obviously there's damn good there. There are obviously um, techniques to learn and stuff, and I'm probably still to learn, I'm a little bit rusty, but the job as a whole is an easy job. Tipping work is not hard at all. It's the easiest HCV job you can get, I think. But it's also very well paid, so normally if you go work for someone else, you work harder for less money, so it's just one of those things, really. Just one of those things. People taking their dogs for a walk. Oh, that's another thing. Like, I think there's too many people out and about. I know you're allowed out for exercise and that. Daily exercise. They weren't exercising. But they're taking the dogs for a walk, I know. So it's a difficult one. But I've had a few people message me saying I shouldn't be working. I'm putting people at risk because I'm at work and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and blah, blah, blah. I'm out. I'm isolated in my truck. I don't talk to anyone or see anyone really there's only two people that I have any sort of thing to do with and that's the digger driver and the person I'm giving the, the slips to later so yeah oh that was Matt Matt watches some of my videos Matt if you're watching not you um, so yeah and like the digger driver there, for example, I gave him the slip just now. Um, you know, he's not touching any of my stuff. Sorry, I'm not touching any of his stuff. Uh, and he's not touching any of my stuff that I get to get and keep, so he's not touching the pen or anything like that. I'm self-signing for him. 
and then handing over the paperwork and then what he does with it is up to him but um, I'm not getting anything off of him and the same with the Weybridge I'm just handing over the piece of paper like you've got to do it so they both got hand sanitizer over the side of them his beacons are on just double check mine's off yep <laughs> that bugs me when people tell you your beacons are on mind your own business <laughs> So yeah, I just think <clears throat> there's an awful lot of people still out and about. And I'm having, I'm getting people to have a go at me for being out and driving and doing my job. And there are people out and about walking dogs and socialising, I think, still. And even if you're only going out as a family or just going out with your, your girlfriend or your wife or just going out with a dog, you're still crossing paths with people. So just be careful out there, really, isn't it? all I can say about it be careful but I'm certainly not going on anyone's YouTube channel telling them that they're disrespectful and that they should be ashamed of themselves because they're out working because so that's what I'm getting never mind anyway <laughs> uh, there's a link closure up ahead and there's also a tractor I don't think I'm going to be able to take the tractor in time unless they haven't got the link closure up yet Yeah, they do. We're, we're stuck there on the tractor for a little bit. It's fine, we're not in a rush. Just take a nice chill day today. Go with the flow, as they say. Right. Cause it's just my habit. Third load. Just got to lift the body up, waiting for him to move his bucket out of the way. There we go. There we go, bucket is up. Yeah, ooh, we're on the third load, so I think we are going to be able to get back and get the fourth on before we have a break. Uh, 10.40. And then it's just whether we're gonna, um, well, where we're gonna stop on, on the fourth one. We're probably gonna have to stop on the way back to get a break in. Um, yeah, so we might actually get six done today as well. We'll have to see. Like I said, there's, there's no number on the paperwork, so I'm not entirely sure how many we got to do. But just keep going, isn't it? I think a couple of guys have been called off on another job. I think because I didn't see them on the way back here, so um, that might be another reason why there's no amount of number of loads to do next to our name, because we might get called off. I might get a phone call saying I've got to go do something else. Who knows? But for now, we're here, and uh, yeah, we've got 16 ton on. This might be the last bucket, if it's a big one. Here we go. That's it. Right, let's go give the paperwork to him. Okay. Let's go forward. Oh, I'm also not the last one now either. Ugh. Because, uh, what did I say earlier? I can't remember. There was someone behind me, but he stopped. So I overtook him. So I'm no longer the last one. Oh, I've got to do the windows up because I've got a lot of dust coming and be up behind me. Right, let's uh, put the sheet on. That right, dust is now coming forward. Look. That's why I did the windows up. Excellent. Seat belt. Right, let's go. Coming out of Lake 81. Obviously, because it's uh, 
a bit tight here. I just want to let people know that I'm on my way out because there is one, like I said just now, there is one behind me, so it'll be coming down soon. Well, it should be anyway. <laughs> uh, right, so that's this is our third load, isn't it? So let's keep going. Do it again and again and again and again. <laughs> Right, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, that's my uh, screen. Right, let's get crack a lacking, let's go. Okay, oh, that's a nice looking. That's a nice looking pickup, what's that? Let me know in the comments section what type of model that is. I don't even know what model that is. Uh, it's just gone 12 o'clock and um, we're just gonna, just gonna go and now pick up our fourth load. Driving time's looking quite shy. Yeah. I was hoping to try and get back to Swindon truck stop for break. Um, I think I'm going to go over my four and a half hours driving. But legally, HGVs are allowed to go over four and a half hours driving because of the temporary relaxation of HGV EU driving rules. She's broken down. Um, and there isn't anywhere to stop up here. I'd rather stop in a safe place. So. If I do go over, then I'll do a printout and say, trying to find somewhere to park that's safe. Because it's true, you need to park somewhere safe. I can park on a road, but there's no lines down here, so I could technically park anywhere. But um, it's a road. <laughs> but be it a quiet road or not, it's still a road. We'll see. We might be fine, actually. It's going to be tight, though. Mm, we'll see. I'd like to stop at Swindon Truck Stop. It's just out of the way, a bit quieter. But yeah, uh, let's get our fourth load on. Um, and then, I didn't realise it was 12 o'clock. I've been looking at the clock down here on the dash and it's still an hour behind. Because obviously we, the clocks went forward an hour, didn't they? And it's still an hour behind on this clock. So I've been thinking it's five past 11 for the last sort of, well, I, th I thought it was 11 o'clock for the last five minutes, but now it's actually 12 o'clock. So by the time we're loaded and parked up, we're not going back on the road until quarter past one. So we might only be doing one more. Maybe two, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, like I said, I started late anyway, so probably will finish late. There's uh, Derek, it's there on the left. I just saw my truck, actually. Uh, my old truck at JK Transport. And I saw my old boss as well, Kev. So, I don't think he watches my videos. <laughs> but I saw him as well. Happy days, I enjoyed working for them, I did. It was just long hours. No, it wasn't just the hours, it was it was the nights away and the night work in particular. Never liked the, the night work. Never did. Right. In we go. Just gotta be careful for vehicles coming flying around the corner. Uh, yeah, we can get straight on. Lovely jubbly. Let's get reversing. Flat out, we cannot go any faster. The uh, the speed, according to the built-in cameras, is four miles an hour. Could easily go a bit faster than this. Oh, he's already waiting with his uh, with his digger as well for me. He's got his load on and he's there, ready to go. I don't know if you can quite see. I'll try and get an angle so you might be able to see it. I don't think you will. No, I don't think you will. Uh, right, it's going to get bumpy in a sec. There we go, here comes the big one. Very bumpy. Just gonna undo the window so I can hear the honk. There we go. There's the honk. There's the first bucket. Now we lift the bed up. 
There we go. Ugh, let's get the paperwork sorted. So, arrived at 12.10 almost. It's all my paperwork for the rest of the day. Yeah, there's a lot of paperwork involved in this job. There we go, that's it. Yeah, come on in, mate. I'm just coming out now. Uh, I'll wait for you. Right. I don't know which way he's coming down. We'll put my sheet on anyway while we're waiting. There we go. Yeah, there's no right or wrong way to come down this lane, so. Just now we reversed down this side, didn't we? And he's reversing down that side now, so. Doesn't matter. Not yet. Coming out of Lake 81. This is a public footpath, so you've got to have a look. Cyclists are there. Excellente, right, so now we just want to crack on really and get to Swindon truck stop uh, and have our 45 minute break. I didn't realise it was that late. Uh, what time did I start this morning? What time was I in the yard? I was in the yard for seven o'clock, just after seven. So I got six hour working time, so it's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one. So I got until one o'clock before I need to have a break anyway. So yeah, we're good. I had to think then. Yeah, cause yeah, we're fine for working time as well. Could have, I don't know. I can't believe it's gone 12 already. I thought it was only 11. Oh, no wonder I'm hungry. <laughs> then again, I'm always hungry, so you know, <laughs> no big deal. Oh dear, dear, dear. Yeah, um, so I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. They're gonna be different. While whilst I'm working for Earthline, they're gonna be different because there's just not that much variety in the job. So it's gonna be a bit boring for you guys, I think, unless you just wanna hear me rabble on. But like, I'm just gonna to go to the same places over and over again. He's, uh, his mate has just crossed the road and he waited for me, so I just said thank you. Yeah, he's crossing that. Yeah, so it's just like going to the same place over and over again, like today. And don't get me wrong, it's all right. I don't mind doing it myself, but for viewing, it's not gonna be the most like <laughs> interesting thing to watch. So there's always that thing in the back of my head, like I wanna create good, engaging, interesting content. Um, but this isn't it. <laughs> um, I know I can make better content, so we will see. Okay, so we, it's when the truck stops just there on the right. So we're, uh, we're going to pull in, something's all taped up. We're going to pull in and have our break. 45 minutes. What time is it? It's half 12 now. So yeah, it'd be like, by the time we park up, it'd be just after quarter past one. Before we leave, uh, in terms of driving time, we're, at, we're actually on four and a half right now. I was going to pull into LA by on the 419, but... For some reason, an Arctic driver's decided to stop on the entry to the lay-by. I mean, it might it might be more than likely a case that there was, there was no room, so he stopped there. But at the moment, he's blocking the whole lay-by. So, but most likely, it was a case that there was no room there. So, never mind. Let's go and have our break. Oh, there's no queue for Sainsbury's today. Normally, there's a massive queue but not today not today sunny gym uh, what's going on here 
I thought that was the popo then. What's all the tape about? There's loads of tape. Let's go park in here. Close to the exit so we can get out quickly. Ugh. I don't know what all the tape is about. There's loads of tape all over the place. Cordering, corder, yeah, can't get the word out. Cording things off, that's the word. <laughs> right, have a break. Two back off and break, engine off. Silence. There we go. <laughs> ah. There's a few stay bottle trucks in here as well. One, two, three, four. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to have a break. See you in a bit. Right, I've got to take my jumper off. One sec. Ugh. Right. Why don't you undo a window, Luke? Why don't you undo a window? Why don't you just uh, undo the window rather than taking your clothes off? Because that truck in front, I've just realised... I... <laughs> Instead of about to laugh or cry. Lorry cordoned off as foreign driver self-isolates over coronavirus fears. A lorry has been cordoned off at a truck stop amid... Amid fears a driver could have uh, coronavirus, the man believed to be Russian presented himself to staff at Resility this morning. Showing a mobile phone with Google Translate help, saying, I think I have coronas. The hell? Staff at Swindon Truck Stop and Oxford Road called 111. The driver was told to self isolate there. The driver was cordoned off with red and white tape uh, and cones to avoid people getting too close to the vehicle, but the driver is permitted to use in the facilities there. A source confirmed. Okay, so joking aside, um, I'll put the window down because it's just too hot. I've got a, a die of exhaustion. <laughs> um, I feel really sorry for that bloke over there, I really do. So, uh, I didn't know what to do. I, I, I want to go to the shops, but there's long queues to get in. It's not as bad as it has been, but there are there are, there are queues. So, um, yeah, so I, I've had a look, see what I got. I got an, an unopened bottle of Coke. Um, I just written him a note just saying, you know, have a drink on me, stay safe, get well soon. One driver to another, so. going to leave it on his doorstep it's, it's not his fault all, all I can think about is that he's foreign he's in a country that he maybe doesn't know he's got to isolate from his friends and family for longer than he was probably even expecting he's probably not even earning any money right now being sat there like if he's got a horrible bo boss he might even lose his job so bless him yeah I'm gonna, gonna leave this on his doorstep because saves him going out and getting a drink then, it's unopened, so why not? Okie dokie, we've got less than a minute left on break and then we are good to go. Let's just make sure everything is nice and secure. Uh, this is, what load is this? Load This is load four. Let's go. Yeah, get well soon, mate. I know you're not gonna watch this, but <laughs> get well soon anyway. What was he doing? <laughs> There's a bloke filling up with fuel that looked like he was putting something else in it, let's just say that. <laughs> it looked like he was trying to put something else in the tank. <laughs> what the hell? Um, the roads today have been quite busy, considering. Like right, they've been all they've been really quiet all all this week, all last week. But today, for some reason, they've they've actually been quite busy. So I don't know what that is about. There's also a, a tremendous amount of vans about as well. 
So obviously workmen are still working. Where's this guy going? I get the funny feeling he's going to cut in front. Just a feeling. I'll back off just in case he is. Oh, we actually need to get over into the next lane. We're in. We're in the wrong lane. Just remembered. We are loaded. I thought we were going back over there then to get uh, to get loaded, but we are loaded. Just got to go all the way around this roundabout and go back. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, I feel really sorry for that um, for that lorry being quarantined like that. I was just uh, just doing a little bit of research and Swindon truck stop. They've put a post up saying that they're they're providing for him. They're supplying him with food and water. Um, and although apparently the driver can't understand any English, they've got a member of staff there that can communicate with him. So, um, so he is being looked after. That, so that's good. Uh, it's very kind of the trucks not to do that. So a big shout out to them for that. But you know, just imagine, like, just imagine you watching this. We're in a different country, literally thousands of miles away. Literally, if you wanted to go home, it would take you two, three days to get home, sort of thing. Maybe longer. That's how far away from home you are. You don't see your kids, you don't see your family, and you've got to be quarantined. And, like, if he is seriously ill, and, like, hopefully it won't happen, but, like, say he is seriously ill, his family ain't going to see him to say bye, do you know what I mean? So I do feel sorry for the bloke. Or woman. Could be a woman. So, Yeah. I hope he gets well seen, I really does. Really do rather. English. I can't speak English. <laughs> right, anyway, let's go get this load off and then we'll go back and get our fifth load and then get that fifth load off. Uh, and let's see what the time is. That might be the last one. I'm not sure. See you in a bit. Right, we're just around the corner now to get our fifth load. Uh, it's quarter past two. So by the time we tip this off and come back again, it'll be quarter past three. So I reckon, I reckon we will be doing a sick run as well. I think. I don't know. <laughs> we'll definitely take this one to the quarry, where we've been taking it to. And then we'll have to see what the time is there. 19 degrees! Woo! It's getting really warm. This truck's got no aircon in either, so not great. Oh, also, I'm in a daft. I don't think I've said. Last vlog I was in a, in a Scandia. This is a daft. This is actually my truck, quote unquote. It's all right, just, just a truck in it. I try and keep it polished inside, but it, it is still quite dirty. Specifically the passenger side, but I never go over there. Actually, it is quite dirty, give it never clean. <laughs> right. Coming into Lake 81. Oh, you come out, mate, I'll wait here. That's why we have CBs. So we don't cause mayhem on these roads. I mean, if it was a really busy road, and I had a car behind me, and he had a car behind him, then uh, it would cause a nightmare. We should be straight on, am I, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, straight on. I've got to write a tick out as well still. I'll only do the one ticket, just in case we're not coming back, but I think we will be. Check the mirrors. That is really hot. 20 degrees now. What was it earlier? 18, wasn't it? Whew. That's got hot quick. And I'm in a truck with no aircon. And I gotta do the windows up because all this dust is gonna come forward. Right, put the sheet up. <laughs> Look at all that dust. Hey! <laughs> so yeah, this might be the last load. It might not be. Not sure yet. I'll, uh, I'll of course let you know. Look, look at all that dust. I ain't done doing these windows yet. I want to clean my glasses a sec. Excellent. Right, let's go. Coming out of Lake 81. Let's just 
make sure there's nothing coming. Clear right, clear left so far. Yeah, that's that's warm. Oh, it's 20, 20.5 now. It might be because we weren't moving. Let's we'll see if it goes up or down by the time we get to the end of the road. That, that's, that's nice and warm out there. I was saying to the boys, Kev T, Trucker J, Trucker Jenko, Scott Andrews, my arm, like the one that's outside like in the sun all the time, is starting to get a bit warm. <laughs> Gonna get the old suntan on it sooner or later. They're still saying 20.5. That's toasty out there today, that's nice. Start bringing in some sun cream, I think. <laughs> right, it's gonna get this last load off, but well, second to last load, possibly the last load. See you in a bit. Okie dokie, the verdict is in. We gotta go back and go get a sixth load and then take that back to the yard. Um, and then presumably tomorrow, uh, first thing in the morning, I'll be bringing that back here. So, happy days, happy days. Um, the weather is just beautiful today. It's 21 and a half degrees now. Like, it's proper, proper warm out. Gotta be careful of that little twig that's sticking out. I say twig, or a branch. Yeah, proper nice day today. You'd, uh, you definitely get a suntan if you were to get a deck chair up and purple in one of these fields, wouldn't you? I might try that one day. Sit in the middle of a field, that's proper self-isolation, that is. <laughs> you can't get more isolating than that. But yeah, as far as days goes, it's been alright. It's been a quiet one today. There's, there's not been a lot of chatter on the CB. Uh, so, just been by myself really all day, just sort of dawdling along. Uh, the guy in front of me, uh, He's going back for another one as well. So I'm just gonna take it nice and steady behind him. There's no rush because once I get there, if I'm right behind him, then uh, I'm gonna wait for him to get loaded anyway. So so take it nice and steady, nice chill drive back to, uh, to where we're getting loaded at Lake 81 and then we'll drive back to the yard. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. He's just telling me that it's clear to the right. But I'm quite far behind them, so I will check anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to take a nice chill. What was I going to say? Um, can't remember what I was going to say now. Yeah, nice day, nice weather. Loving it. Just chilling out, really, listening to tunes. Trying to mates. Not a lot else I can say. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go get this sick load. And we can go back home. Can't describe it Okay, we are here getting our sixth load of the day. Just filling out the uh, the final bit of paperwork. Lake 81. There we go. Yep, that'll do. There we go, right. Let's go give them the ticket. Okay, drive and brake. Let's go. Ten to three. Ugh. So um, no, not ten to three. Ten to four. So <laughs> I'm losing an hour now. Yeah, we should be back in the yard for half past four. So that's not bad. 
really are. I've got to do the windows up now. Or I stop. <sighs> Kill me. <laughs> it's really, really hot. I've got no aircon in this truck. 22 and a half degrees right now. <sighs> Tell you what, I would not want to live in Australia. Just refreshing my watch to see if my watch will save what the temperature is. My watch says 19 at the moment. Oh no, 22. Can you see that? Can you see that? 22 degrees. It's warm. Alright, windows down. Coming out of Lake 81. Clear right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We've used over half a tank today as well. Oh, I've got to watch these kids now. These aren't just kids by themselves. Yeah, so much for like not staying together. They might be a family. Who knows? They might be a family of four. You know, I'm getting a lot of hate for going to work by myself, and you know, people like that just out and about chilling with friends how the virus spreads, you know what I mean? Never mind. Never mind Dongding, as they say. Right, thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. I, uh, I honestly, I, I understand it's not the most entertaining. I'm going down the same roads again, all day, every day. But, you know, hopefully listening to me ramble on is enough to make you want to watch. Clear right, clear left. And I am starving, if I'm honest with you. I'm going to go home tonight and have something to eat. I am well hungry. Well hungry. Right, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.